this afternoon. We were talking about the division earlier and about the, the uh, Jets because Aaron Rodgers says that they all know that they are a Super Bowl-bound team. Uh, so I'm paraphrasing what Aaron Rodgers said, but we played it during they said it. Bill Belichick, they've released a little bit of uh, Bill and his show coach. Who's the co-host? Uh, that's Matt Patricia, oh. who was available to a co <laughs> <laughs> Two co-hosts. Wow. Um, and so, you know what it was, Curtis? They wanted to find somebody who could not in any way be offensive. <laughs> <laughs> well done. And so they they grabbed Matt Patricia. So it's Bill and Matt Patricia. And Matt Walsh is actually the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Bill, Wiggy. Uh-huh. Absolutely effusive in his praise of the New York Jets. The Jets are one of the hardest teams to prepare for from a skill standpoint because of Brees Hall, outstanding running back that has the, the ability to take the ball the distance. He's very good in the passing game. And defensively, you want to do everything you can to get the ball out of his hands and load the box. Problem is, if you load the box, you're singled out there on Wilson, and that's a tall order right there to deal with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And then his run after the catch is, is you know, exceptional. And Aaron knows how to use them. And, and Aaron will know, you know, where the defense is heavy and where they're light and be able to work the ball there. And they just need to solidify the consistency of the offensive line. But on paper, uh, you know, they, I think they have a good offense and, and they're hard to defend with a good quarterback, a great wide receiver, and a great running back. Wow. He loves them. All right. He does love them. I said it. it what Bill is doing is it's not an audition for like teams. I think what Bill is doing is just saying, hey, I've evolved. And so when I'm coming back to coach next year, all you owners out there that are going to be looking, understand that I can be relatable. I'm taking the advantage of technology. Uh, I'm working well with others. Yeah, but I would say the guy that he's with is part of the reason he's not on a sideline. Yeah, but line. he can care less about that. So what do you we, mean? So he's going to want to bring his own staff. Oh, but he'll bring Matt Patric Patricia to help out on defense. Yeah. Patricia on defense, fine. No issues at all. He's he not going to coach again. Who? Bill Belichick. This is the perfect situation. Aaron Rodgers only has one more year on his contract left after that. Bill doesn't want to coach forever, but he does want to win another, or at least have the opportunity to win another Super Bowl. And I've said this before. Bill with Rodgers in Dallas, Buffalo, Philadelphia. And who was the other team that we talked about? Uh, da, 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 da. You talked about Bell? Dallas a lot, Philadelphia, Buffalo, and now the Jets. Those four teams. You don't say. You don't think if Bill Belichick is coaching those teams, those teams are not viewed as Super Bowl contenders with the talent that they have. I, I, I totally agree with you on that one. And looking at the Jets situation. That's interesting. You might be a prophet there, Wiggy. Yeah, yeah that might be something to that. I was in you know? New York with Belichick and Parcells during that whole thing when he went from New York yeah. and then came to New England. Yeah, it I was, was illegal because I called him. I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> and, 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 Ty, you know this better than any anybody else. Yeah. It wasn't that he had issues with the Jets and the owner, Woody Johnson, at the time. His issue was Parcells was the kind of GM, right. yeah. and he would have been the coach, and he would have been under Parcells' thumb. Right. And I don't think he wanted that, so he didn't have issues. So when people are like, Bill hates the Jets, he hates the Jets, no. He hated the situation of being under Parcells. So if him going back to the Jets, he's got no issues with the team. Well, think about what Bill, if he went, I'm sitting there looking at the, the drama part of it. If Bill went back to New York, do you think that a little bit of him wants to just Give it to the Patriots. Oh, too. yes. Oh, yeah. I, would, I mean, I don't know how much of a factor it is for him, but he probably, if he had his choice, would love to coach in the division. Oh, Buffalo, that damn don't documentary. You think, don't you think yes. he'd love to come back here? Oh, yeah. A thousand as, times as, yes. as the head coach of the Jets and right. the Bills? Yeah. And it would be so it. great for us. Oh, oh would it be I mean, awesome? Man, man uh, that's just being, being competitive, but at the same time, Hey, let's not forget that documentary. It, oh, yeah. It, it didn't, I mean, he ain't going to forget about that. He said it on the Brady roast about how, Tom, you think this is uh, a roast. You should have seen what the 10-pot documentary Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and think about this. Both coaches, Sean McDermott and Robert Sala, are both on the hot seat. If those, those guys don't win, 
You don't think that those owners are going to be looking for new head coaches? Right? And the trepidation would be that you're fearful if you're Woody Johnson or you're the Pagulas that you're going to watch Bill go to the Jets or go to the Bills. So they're going to want to be first. If I'm the Jets, I fire Salah today and right, bring him in. Right, but if they have any type of season that's mm -hmm. worth a damn, do mm -hmm. you think that they're going to get rid of Salah just to bring Belichick in? Because what is those the guys, they, they're supposed to be winning. What do you 12 think? games. I mean, 11, 12 games. That's what the I, Jets are supposed to win. Yeah. So I think if, if the they Jets, do accomplish that and do, do not make the Super Bowl, are they going to fire the coach and bring in Bill Belichick? I think if Aaron Rodgers wants Bill and they don't right. get to the Super Bowl, then Bill will be there. And Buffalo, I think Buffalo has to get to the AFC Championship. If they don't get to the AFC Championship, I think then Buffalo, the owners there, they, they're trying to build this new stadium. They're going to say, we need to make a change. The Jets... I think the Jets are looking at the window of Aaron Rodgers. And Robert Sala, even if he has a good season, if they get bounced in the first round of the divisional round, I think they're looking at, we need to get, because we're only going to have the window with Rodgers is closing. Yeah. What's giving us the best chance of, of winning a, a, a Super Bowl? It's just like Tampa Bay. You think the Bucks owners care that Brady was only there for, what, three years? No, uh -huh. he won a Super Bowl. That's why I think that he has a better chance of going to Dallas. Dallas is you a know, good like, one. Like, uh... Instead of the Jets and go mm -hmm. to Dallas and do a Tom Brady, go to the NFC mm -hmm. and say, I, hey, I went to the NFC and got one too. I don't know. I, I know he ain't that petty, yeah. but I just still think his chance will be better at a situation like the, uh, like the Cowboys. But he knows. See, here's the thing with Bill, right? If he looks at the AFC. T a team like Baltimore and Kansas City don't scare him because we've seen what he's been able to do defensively against those teams. He's looking at it. You give me the Jets defense, yeah, and I'm going against those teams. I'll come up with a game plan to slow down Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Do I have enough on offense that I? And if you got Aaron Rodgers or if you got Josh Allen and Buffalo, it's the you know he's got to be looking at it. Maybe he does bring in Josh McDaniels. But if you go to the NFC mm -hmm. and you have a defense and a and a, and a quarterback, yeah, the least path of resistance for another championship. To, that that you want all time leader in wins another uh, Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You go to the NFC. Yeah, I agree with you. you it go is to the NFC. I agree. I agree with yeah. you. It is the NFC because you don't have to deal with. I mean, Mahomes. I think the best job if I were Bill and it had nothing to do with any venom towards the crafts, it would be the Eagles if that came available. Uh, that's a good one. I mean, that team is loaded. Yeah. But why would that become available? Because Sirianni is. He's, a, he's another one on the hot seat. On the hot seat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And him and and him and there's reports. And, you know, you know when there's smoke, there's fire. Him and um, Jalen Hurts don't really see eye to eye. Not vibing. Yeah, and you paid Jalen Hurts, what, $220 million, $212 million, whatever they paid him. Yeah. They're not going to move on from Jalen Hurts. They're going to move on not. from the coach first. So, as another – and the guy um, – the owner. Well, I don't know. Have they seen how great Mac Jones looks in preseason? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Bill and Mac Jones? I by, by the way. I don't think Mac Jones will enter the New England region after what Ninkovich said on his oh, podcast. What, what My guy Ninko played. Huh? What happened? I mean, Ninko. Play, the, play the clip. What play happened? Clip. You haven't heard it? No. No. Oof. Oh, they, they ended up talking about Mac Jones, and uh, Dan, who does the podcast with Ninkovich, was telling him that uh, apparently Mac Jones was not a fan of Ninkovich's. Yeah, correct. Oh, wow. And uh, here is what our guy Rob said as a response. He don't like us either. Oh, yeah. No, he don't, don't like you. I don't give he a f like You think I don't, I'll smack the <laughs> out of he does not like you. I don't care. I'm fine with him. He does not like you. I don't care. Do you care if somebody doesn't like you? No. Exactly. I'm just telling you. I hope like he you. has a great career as a backup. <laughs> And that's, he makes a ton of money. What's the? I just love how everybody's like, he's gonna look at him. We should never got rid of him. Who? Like, yeah. Oh, God. There's people it, out there. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. They needed to change the, the demeanor. The demeanor alone between Mac Jones and Drake May are completely different. Yeah, you know, I just um, got to keep working and um, got to get better and um, you know, I'm just gonna keep working hard and wasn't my best and I got to be better. Wow. Oof. And they, hey, I and Nico said it. The, the quote is, I will smack yes. the S out of Matt yeah. Jones. It was I, so. I, 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 I want to smack the 
I watched the clip <laughs> like five times when Rest it got posted, and I was so confused because when Ninko was on the show last year, during he was always very complimentary of Mac. So I'm like, what? The I've never heck loved happened? Ninko more in my yeah. life. Uh, and I hate so this. handsome, a handsome man. I hate to say this to Ninko, but it does sort of seem like you don't like it when he doesn't like you. <laughs> hey, I'd be careful. We had Ninko on the show. Ninko, he, hey, he he said he got plenty of gas left yeah. in that tank when it comes to throwing them hands. How so pissed? I'd be careful. How and Ninko's pissed? one person. I don't want to get on his bad side. <laughs> How he... pissed is Sophie? I mean, oh, yeah. hey, if oh, I'm yeah. Mac Jones, I'm like, man, I know, I don't need to go nowhere near <laughs> Ninko, bitch. He gonna slap the he just said it with aggression yeah. too. He's gonna get he's getting Mac Jones is gonna like five years from now be invited did, back for some event. And he's, no. he's gonna go in the did, other did, direction. Did Mac uh, he had wrong. a pretty good preseason? Yeah, 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 he had a good, good. season. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, but... smack the <laughs> <laughs> he, said that, he said that with aggression. He like let me see see him and let me see him again. Because oh. it was like uh Dan was like uh Oh, I talked to Mac. He had some interesting words. I, 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 I want to play that for Mac, and I guarantee you he pees a little. <laughs> I, right. would, I would love we to can... know what he said about Nico, though. I know. I have no idea. We can um, ask We got to ask Nico. <laughs> yeah. Tell us. Because when, when you heard... Um, like, he knew that the yeah, back had been running his when mouth. When you heard Dan O'Brien talk about it, he had said, like, oh, he likes me. Yeah, he doesn't like you. I think he used to do, like, commercials for Dan O'Brien. So uh, I, I wonder what he <laughs> said about Yeah, Nico. hello. <laughs> like I said, got to control what I can control. And... He was probably went home. He's like, uh, Sophie, uh, <laughs> Rob Nikovich wants to beat me up. Yeah, I think that's an accurate statement. I love the Nesson headline, Expatriate star threatens to smack the bleep out of Mac Jones. Um. <laughs> Give us a new ball. Well, you know, off of that, we got to ask Ty when we going to do our shot o'clock. Duval! Our what? Our shot a clock. Hey, oh. hey uh, what time is it, Wiggy? Um, you tell me, Ty, what time is it? Shot a clock! It's <laughs> <laughs> like five o'clock somewhere. It's Hey, do, we do we we have to we have to have a shot now? Yeah, I mean it's, it's hey, this is the first week back of the season. For this for Which one season. is it? Huh? Which this one? is the grilled pineapple. Okay. Corvus grilled pineapple. pineapple. Hey, right. you guys, hey, Shime, I know Curtis don't drink Jackson with a nice clean haircut now. Uh -huh. Hey, looking good, brother. Hey, cheers, right. man. Good cheers. to be back. Cheers. Great having you back on the <laughs> Great show. Great to have you back, Ty. <laughs> shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Yeah. Shot o'clock. As Jim Cook says, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> Preach. So shot o'clock. There we go. It's great to have Ty Law back on the show for another oh, NFL good. season every Tuesday. Ty Tuesday. Hold on. I love the grill pineapple, That is smooth. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs>